its weapons, most of all, that Ukraine wants. Uh, Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, was in the United States uh, just a, a week or so ago, and he made clear in his address to Congress and his conversations with U.S. President Joe Biden that weapons, 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 and air defense are what Ukraine needs at the moment. That is precisely what uh, Zelensky is going to be talking about with Sebastian de Cochonou, uh this afternoon. Uh, he will, first of all, I think, say that the Ukraine is extremely grateful for the quality of the weaponry that France has supplied so far. Uh, there's been a lot of praise in Ukraine uh, for the César self-propelled howitzers, of which France has supplied 18. Uh, but also, too, they've been getting air defense systems, uh, which they, they really need at the moment. And I think perhaps, first and foremost, uh, Zelensky will put the accent on that. What can France do uh, to help Ukraine improve its air defense as it comes under this relentless bombardment uh, by Russian missiles over the last few weeks? Russia, uh, the, the, the France is providing, I think, two uh, air defense weapon systems at the moment. But honestly, I think France's biggest problem is not so much uh, a lack of will to, to provide Ukraine with uh, these weapon systems, but its ability to do so. Uh, its own system, its uh, procurement system, is coming under, uh, under challenge uh, as a consequence of the war in Ukraine. For instance, if you take the Césars, 25% uh, of all France's Césars have now gone to uh, Ukraine. And I think it's almost the same uh, for their multiple launch rocket systems as well. So it's a major challenge for the French. Indeed. And the French have, uh, as we've been saying, already given considerable amounts of, of weaponry to Ukraine. And yet criticism persists, doesn't it, there in Ukraine of uh, France and its response to the war. Why is that? It's, yeah, it's certainly the case that there has been criticism. I think there's less criticism uh, now, Tom, than there has been uh, in the past, particularly over the summer when Ukraine was really under an awful lot of pressure from the Russians and desperately needed weaponry as soon as possible. Uh, and one of the criticisms uh, that Ukraine made was that Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, was too busy spending time trying to engage in uh, talks with Vladimir Putin, the, the Russian president, and uh, not concentrating enough on providing Ukraine with the, the weaponry to fend off the Russian forces. And the suggestion made by uh, Emmanuel Macron that the West needed to give Vladimir Putin an off-ramp so he could get out of the war uh, in, in Ukraine without being humiliated, went down really badly in Ukraine. Uh, but, you know, at, at least until fairly recently, there was substance to the criticism that France hadn't been providing as much as other countries. Uh, an independent German study done at the end of October suggested that France was 13th in the list of countries providing weaponry to uh, to Ukraine, behind even Latvia and Denmark. That, I think, has changed substantially since then. Uh, the supply of, of uh, the Césars that I was talking to, talking to you about, the multiple launch rocket systems and also air defense. Uh, and uh, Le Cochonou says it was never true anyway, that France has always been in the top five. But I think now uh, France has pretty much put those major criticisms to rest. And just before we go, Rob, what is the situation on, on the ground right now? What are, what are the main developments in Ukraine? Well, this is, this is another of the issues I think Zelensky and Reznikov, the, the defence minister of Ukraine, will be talking about with the Kornu, that they want to maintain the, their offensive, a counter-offensive against the Russians. Uh, there, there has been much talk about there being a stalemate at the moment. That would suit the Russians. It wouldn't suit the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians want to use... Uh, the, the, the freeze that's beginning to set in uh, in eastern Ukraine now, uh, the, the colder temperatures, to renew their counteroffensives. Uh, and we've been seeing that particularly in the northeast, in the area of Luhansk, uh, particularly against the towns of Svatove and Krimina, which were taken by the Russians at the beginning of the war, but are under now immense pressure from the Ukrainians. What the Ukrainians need most of all is artillery, uh, and ammunition for that artillery and tanks. And I think those are at least two of the things uh, that Yeznikov and Zelensky will be talking about with Sebastian Lecornu uh, this afternoon. What can France do to enable Ukraine to continue and maintain, keep up the tempo of its counteroffensive against the Russians?